All right, uh, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm actually going to be talking about a fork of uh, Sunshine. So I don't know if you have used you know, Sunshine and Moonlight before to be able to stream your desktop uh, from one PC to another, either handheld device or another PC. Typically, you do this when you want to have, like, for instance, my uh, Steam Deck. I want to be able to, you know, play games at higher refresh rates and higher quality. And basically, I can remote into my gaming PC uh, and be able to get those higher refresh rates and everything. And I was doing that through Sunshine and Moonlight. But just recently, a new uh, fork of Sunshine came out. Um, it's called Apollo. And Apollo has this great feature um, that has this uh, built-in virtual desktop option, which makes this whole process like so much more simple. So currently with your Sunshine uh, configuration, if you have that set up now, like I did before, you would have to have the scripts and things, you know, pass to be able to change, you know, screen resolutions and like make it so it's more native on the device that you're, you know, trying to stream from, or else you're going to pull in whatever the resolution that your you know monitor on your gaming pc has which isn't always you know ideal for uh you know like a handheld or a different even just a different monitor or laptop or something that you're using and in my case i like to have my laptop that is actually on linux as you can see here and this is my kind of my primary working laptop and it's also my streaming laptop so when i'm streaming or something like that i, I do use this to record or stream and then i have my uh, gaming pc which is actually running on windows for you know optimal performance of what I have on my, you know, NVIDIA card. And also because I have certain games and things that uh, work better or uh, controllers that work better, you know, on that uh, system. So um, I'm able to, you know, use my regular um, Linux desktop and just remote right into that um, PC and then just play as if I'm, you know, still using my, my Linux desktop here. So that's kind of how my setup is working right now. And it's really nice to be able to to do that and to do it easily so that's what sunshine and uh, moonlight i've been using previously but now this apollo one it actually makes it a whole lot smoother i've been having a lot of issues where it, it was either just losing connection or i would have like some some times where like the screen would just go go fuzzy and then my audio would start you know crackling and um it just wouldn't you know keep up with what i'm trying to do especially if i'm like streaming or something so um, i was looking for another option and i was actually looking for something you know completely different from you know sun sunshine and moonlight but this option came up as, as apollo and so basically i i just gave it a shot and it's been running like great so i kind of want to show you guys how this works and kind of the use case for it uh it's it, it it's essential for, especially if you're trying to use this like on a handheld or something, to be able to have your uh, screen automatically change resolution and be locked into that automatically and just re revert back to what it was previously. When you disconnect, it, it's it's an awesome, easy solution to to have this and not have to create scripts and stuff to, to accomplish it. So, so basically, you do still have to have Moonlight on your device that you're you're using it with so you still use that um, but instead of using your sunshine um, installation you would so move my out to output to my gaming pc here so then you can see that i have apollo running here so if i actually go ahead and open apollo you can see here it the uh, the user interface is just like sunshine so there's not much you know difference there if you use sunshine already but you're actually able to go into applications here and so i have my desktop and play night by default it does have steam uh, big picture mode run on here but i use play night instead of steam big picture mode so that's what i have there but if i go into edit here for the desktop um, they have this option down here that says always create virtual display by default it's unchecked but if you check this this is what creates this extra display so if you see here if i go into uh, my display settings here you see i have two monitors i have one monitor to, to my right and then one monitor um that it that's right here in the middle that's also connected to my um laptop so that monitor is here and the other monitor is there so that's what you're, you're seeing now so if i actually go and switch back to my linux setup here and then i go into um, the desktop through through moonlight it's going to connect 
And so now it's connected and I can go full screen. And I'm actually running at the native resolution that my laptop is running on and not the resolution that I have set for the actual gaming PC itself. So now if I go into display settings, you can see now it's actually switched. I have mine is a little bit different. I actually disabled the uh, secondary monitor. And then I ha do have a capture card. So when I'm when I'm streaming, I'm getting the, you know, direct display off of the gaming PC instead of the streaming PC. And then I'm just using Moonlight to actually play the game. But uh, when I'm doing that, I have the capture card and the virtual display as one display here. So that way the, the display is the same resolution as the capture card and everything. So that's a whole nother topic. But normally you would just have your virtual display as the only display that's visible, but it'll only kick in when you connect Moonlight. And then when you disconnect it, it'll go back to the original displays automatically. I think that's the, the greatest implementation that you can have because now if I connect my Steam Deck, um, I can have all these displays is connected, even my uh, capture card display, and then just have the Stream Deck display connected. And it does it per device. So every device that you have, it'll automatically switch to that and then switch back um, when you've disconnected that device. So yeah, so I definitely think this is like an amazing option to be able to you know, connect multiple devices to your uh, gaming PC, whether it's a laptop, uh, a Steam Deck, uh, you know, any other, you know, Windows handheld or whatever you're using, it'll be able to connect to here and you'll be able to have this streaming at the native resolution, the actual native resolution where you don't have to, you know, pass any scripts or do anything, you know, else crazy to be able to get it to, you know, just show up and fill your entire screen. Because I've had it where I've had like my Steam Deck, for instance, if I'm at a different resolution than my Steam Deck has, um, even though I set Moonlight to the resolution of my Steam Deck, it'll still pass and have like the bar, the black bars at the top of the screen where you can't actually get a full screen experience with this option you can so i definitely think this is a great option so if you haven't tried it definitely do and like i said this is called apollo um it's apollo is a self self-hosted game stream host for moonlight um they do have their own client called artemis but it's only available for android right now and desktop and uh ios are coming soon so eventually they will have their own moonlight clients for um or sorry, Artemis clients for other ones, but it does still work with Moonlight if you do not have the, uh, uh, if you're not using an Android device. So yeah, so I definitely would give this a shot and see if it works for you. It's been working great for me. And if you have enjoyed my content, please consider uh, liking and uh, subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.